history of his unit, all these things are challenges for you. Don't don't say tutasubiri hadi kosi ngi. No. You are like the you are like the doctors of the army special forces. Uko kama waganga wa majeshi. Habari maskari. Habari ya mafunzo. Hongera, hongera sana ku kumaliza na mafunzo. So this is a milestone in the military to military cooperation between UPDF and SANDF. And specifically between SFC of UPDF and the Special Forces Brigade. I think it's Special Forces Brigade, that's the, the correct uh, name of SANDF. It's a big achievement and it took many years to get here. I remember the first time I saw General Maloma was uh, eight years ago. Eight years ago. By then, uh, the CDF was uh, was uh, found uh, a Ronda, but the commander land forces was General Wamala. So General Wamala one day called me and said, "I have some, I have some people that I want you to meet." So we met General Maloma and his predecessor. General Rudzani Mapanya. And of course, South African, uh, South African Special Forces is something I'd been very interested in for a very long time. I had read many, many books about the South African Special Forces. So I was uh, very happy to meet them. We met, we talked. That time they had an operation in Gulu, so we supported them with that operation, and it went well. And uh, we started from there. Whenever I would visit South Africa, I would be with General Mapanya or General Maloma. So this is uh, really a milestone in our relationship, something we have been uh, planning for, working towards for a long time. I think this is the first time since 1994 when apartheid was defeated in South Africa that such a tactical course, tactical course has been attended by our brothers from South Africa. I think this is the first one. There are other kuna courses, there are courses in uh, uh, Chimaka, staff courses, senior staff, junior staff, but a tactical course like this involving soldiers, I think this is the first one. So Mje Pigia Makofi. So Kasenyi has moved from being a bush when uh, General Kavuma was uh, here as an officer. And then we came later working in Birunjao we were just remembering there the first time I Namimi Nirukoi instructor, the first time I was drilling them there in the <laughs> the first time I was drilling them there in the bush. The place was just a bush. Complete bush. The, 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 the buildings would end near Baita there and the rest was just mustud bush. So it has moved from a bush school to a somewhat uh, organized school to now a center of excellence. Now you're even uh, international. You're international. You can host, you can host uh, our brothers from South Africa. And I hope, General Maloma, you'll send more next time for this training. Uh, we have the leaders of the army here. General Kavuma, General Virunji, please, when you go back, 
Taylor Fund and CDF that we want more support since we are now an international training school. Of course, before 1994, we had members of Mkoto Wesizwe. Mkoto Wesizwe, that is the, the army of ANC. They were here, they were in Kaoweta for a long time, I think from 1990. After they moved from Angola, they came here. 89. Uh -huh, 89. Up to 94, Warkua Kaoweta. And that's why. Uh, at a strategic level, the president decided to rename that place Oliver Reginald Tambo Leadership School, and that's what it's called today. And because for us, Special Forces, we want to always be close to history, great history, we also took our school there. We also have a school there. It's called Samora Michelle Special Forces School. So. history of collaboration and cooperation is long, and I really want to thank the two generals, General Mapanya and General Maloma, for, for uh, being interested in us, for loving UPDF, and for making sure that the, the relationship does not disappear. I want to thank you.